is going on guys it is Berg's back here for another video today we've got a dip that I'm not quite looking forward to but we're gonna give it a shot maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised that is going to be Klondike long cut straight um, you know that I say that because not specific to Klondike I don't really care for the flavor in general uh, there's few out there that I really find even tolerable so that being said let's take a look at the presentation um so like i've said before i i do like the design that they put together for a budget dip such as this um you've got the mountain scene in the background you've got the clear distinction that it is straight You've got, you know, it is all plastic can, but um, some of the other information, 100% foreign tobacco, tax class M, net weight 1.2 ounces, sale only allowed in the United States, manufactured by Cheyenne International LLC, Grover, North Carolina, CheyenneInternational.com. One other thing I've been forgetting to mention on these videos and at least this used to be the case i have not checked lately but klondike derringer decade all also have individual websites so they have a little bit more information than cheyenne international.com um, uh, on the brand specific websites you can take a look at what flavors they make they have a store locator which i find very inaccurate okay it it really with no rhyme or reason seems to add up I've I searched my home zip code and it said two stores had decade and the one place listed I know for a fact that hardly carries any dip at all and I went in and checked anyway but they did not um, so like like with any of those store locators you know kind of take it with a grain of salt but uh, the case is with theirs is I have not really found it to be accurate at all so far so keep that in mind if you do choose to use that part of it however the flavors that they make and stuff are are all to be accurate um, well considering the cut on here it looks to be similar to the other one where it's really a uh, mid to fine cut almost um, I believe they actually do make a fine cut straight I believe the two in Klondike that I didn't get were, in fact, because um, I don't know my password off the top of my head, I'm just going to take a look at Northerner. And while that loads, um, we'll, we'll get a closer look at the dip itself. So. Pinchability is not the greatest. Similar to the other one, uh, I went in trying to pinch basically the old top left corner and got about a third of it. Yeah. Um, it, it kind of, kind of cut is similar to like Cope LC. Different because I would say this is quite moist, but, um, the cut kind of doesn't have much consistency at all because I wouldn't call it a fine cut because it does it does clump well and there are some at least medium strands where a true fine cut would be completely fine cut 
but now I, I did pull up Northerner. Um, like I said, I don't know my password off the top of my head and don't feel like going searching for it. Um, so by the time I am done with Klondike, I will have covered all of what they make except for Fine Cut. Uh, store didn't have it um, that I found the others at this time, and the last time I searched for Klondike, I was only able to find Long Cut Wintergreen. That was around here, actually, and that was probably about a year ago, but Nobody around here has it anymore. That's all Derringer around here. For whatever reason, they seem to carry one brand in one area. Kind of makes sense since thus far, Klondike and Derringer seem just about identical. I really haven't found anything that makes me say this tastes different than Derringer. Um, as far as the flavors, they, I would say, and now I kind of am interested in finding the fine cuts. Derringer did not make a fine cut straight, they made a fine cut natural, and I remember seeing this before, that Klondike does in fact make a fine cut straight, and it might be the only company making a fine cut straight, so that's interesting. Um, they also make a fine cut wintergreen, which is much more common, probably one of the most common fine cuts that are out there, uh, in addition to natural. Um, in addition, they're making, they make a long cut wintergreen which i've reviewed long cut straight which we're doing now long cut peppermint you just saw that and then in pouches i did the wintergreen and i've got peppermint pouches and cherry pouches to review and in um in long cut wintergreen they make a six can tub of pre-packed cans it, if you haven't seen this derringer makes the same thing it's very odd to me to have a tub filled with cans okay now yeah there is a little bit of a price advantage to buying this six can tub than buying a roll but it's really like you know not that significant um i personally think the reason people like stoker's longhorn kayak do the tubs man cans etc is for their saving on the packaging of the individual cans and giving you one one uh, plastic can um, so I I mean it's different they advertise it I can see it in the picture as no mess and all that but it's just a different type of type of uh, marketing I guess packaging and I you know try to wrap my head around it when the when the competitors are all kind of doing it that way to save the cost of the cans however I should probably get back into the review since I've been talking for quite a bit here. Like I said, uh, I didn't touch on the scent. Um, the scent, it's its the kind of straight that I really despise. Uh, Grizzly straight, um, some of the others that are Kodiak straight, just the trying to describe it without being biased because if you've watched me for any significant port of time uh, any significant time you know that this isn't my flavor it lacks sweetness okay i guess is the best way to say it copenhagen straight is fairly a sweet straight and that's why i can i can deal with that um these are more just that smoky natural and for whatever reason, uh, it just doesn't, it just doesn't appeal to me. So if you do, however, like Grizzly, Kodiak, that type of straight dip, because I know people are out there that do like that, uh, this is going to be a cheaper option. Surprisingly, you know, the cut is not the best on, for whatever reason, it, it's, it's not falling apart this time. I did, you know, throw three pinches in there uh, to get my average size pinch out of it, but it seems to be saying put this time around, which I'm kind of surprised. It also seems, seems quite fresh. Um, a, a follower, uh, on Instagram actually had 
indicated to me that the code on the back is similar to kayak in that it, it does have a meaning but they don't uh, broadcast it so if I had to guess hmm yeah I'm not I'm still not really too sure typically an E would be uh, May and then you have a 78098 after that which you know E7 could very well be um, May 2017 made date uh, do not know about the rest that's usually that's gonna be like stuff especially with Copenhagen and stuff and Grizzly that's stuff like the machine it was made on or whatever for quality purposes so um, I will check the other cans and then the other reviews and see if that makes any sense and then we could kind of that's kind of what I did with kayak and I also had some documents from when I worked at the gas station that confirmed that kayak does actually have a decodable date system they just don't tell you about it which I think is kind of stupid I think the consumer should be able to know when their dip was made however I'm getting off topic once again um, Bryce on Klondike it's going to be the cheapest thing you can find. It's priced around what Kayak's priced at, give or take, maybe even a little cheaper. Um, 99 cents on the Indian Reservation in New York. If I were to find it in Pennsylvania nowadays, it would probably cost me about 169 or 179. Um, and like I said, it follows Kayak. Nicotine on it, especially from my experience with Derringer, it is fairly low, similar to the dips in its category. Um, Especially when you're when you're kind of used to stuff like Grizzly Wintergreen. Here's the camo can if you didn't see the last video um, You're used to a higher amount of nicotine and this just it really doesn't do a whole lot for people like me um, however, I'm sure if you're a moderate uh, Dipper or a new dipper you would feel a little something um, Like I talked about, when I talked about the smell, the taste follows that very similarly. It tastes a lot like some of the dips that don't have sweetness in their straights, like Grizzly, Kodiak, um, Cope Straight when they made the Cope series, not Copenhagen Straight, which was which is the flagship straight that they make. Um, I really haven't seen much of the Cope series lately. I don't know if they actually. That I believe they did away with whiskey blend after the recall. Um, I guess it seemed like an appropriate time to uh, do away with it. Not 100% confirmed on that, but I have not seen it, and I've seen that rumor going around the community a little bit. So I'm just assuming. I uh, don't know if the same is true for Cope Straight. Um, once again, not Copenhagen Straight, Cope Straight because a lot of places really didn't carry it to begin at, at that point to begin with um, because it was at, at the time you had you know cope straight Copenhagen straight already confusing and then cope whiskey blend Copenhagen black similar a little bit different but very similar dips um, just a little bit too much in the same brand in my opinion um, so uh, that about wraps things up before we do the rating. I want to give a couple of shout outs dirty Pat Walsh songs once again check him out not his channel is not exclusive to dip He does he's into music and some other things, but uh, check him out Canadian dipper and Definitely a different perspective when you talk to somebody from Canada on dip compared to those of us in the States with with easier access and much much lower prices on dip uh, than what our Canadian friends are pe are paying. Uh, also, Wayside Lee 83, longtime viewer and subscriber to him, so check him out. Paw Paw Piper, once again, uh, I've said it before, he does pipe videos, some dip videos, some chew videos. Check him out. Uh, also, I think I may have shouted him out once, but check out Matt McCarrick, M-C-C-A-R-R-I-C-K is the spelling of the last name. He is also from Pennsylvania. I'm not sure exactly where in the state he's from, 
but uh, he does dip reviews, he does car videos. Uh, so two different, very different genres, but uh, very good videos, so check him out. And while we're on the subject of cars, I haven't shouted him out in a long time, but he's kind of getting back on the wagon. My friend Sam D. Media, my hometown friend, um, if you're into cars, make sure you check him out. He makes high quality, high quality videos, very nice editing. Um, he really puts, puts the time in on his channel. So check him out, get his subs up a little bit. He is only at 680 and I believe he started with this before I did. Um, he actually helped me out a little bit in the beginning when I was just getting going. So, uh, shout out to him. Now the, uh, the dip's a little falling apart a little bit, so rating out of 10 on Klondike Straight. I'm going to go 4 out of 10 on this one. Um, once again, keep in mind, I'm biased. Straight flavor is not my flavor. Also, you know, now that I've, I'm talking quite a bit, I can tell that the lip is kind of falling apart, um, which I was kind of expecting based on the others. Quality is a little bit lower if you're on a budget, though, it might be the way to go. Um, number of subscribers is 1,229. Thanks to everybody that subscribed. It means a whole lot to me. Um, that's about it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Check me out on social media at abergs95, and I will see you next time. Take care.